this concept of pointer to a structure. So, this is how you access the members of a structure using pointer variables as well. So, here the starting address of the memory variable can be accessed. Now, this is just similar to an array. See, an array is also considered as a pointer variable only because the name of the array itself holds the address of the first variable of the array. So, that is the same concept used here. The starting address of the memory variable is accessed. So, when we say a pointer to a structure, another name for is it is also called as structure pointers. Now, this is how the syntax is declared. The declaration is the same struct struct tag and the members of the structure enclosed within braces and semicolon and the declaration of the variable is struct book that is nothing but the struct tag. Instead of simply giving a variable name here we have to give a pointer variable. So, pointer variable name end it with a semicolon that is the only difference in the declaration of the structure pointer. So, now we will see a small example of how to display the contents of a structure using this pointer variable. You have the main function again you have the declaration of structure structure tag two variables are there of different data types one is character string the other one is integer and it is enclosed within braces terminated by a semicolon. Now, this is where you declare initialize the members struct book b1. So, now this b1 is a plain structure variable it is having the values for the members of the structure first is a string value the second is an integer value. Next statement you are having again a variable declaration struct book and a pointer variable. So, in this program we are having two variables one is a general variable the other one is a pointer variable. So, now this pointer variable is capable of holding the address. So, now we have to give the address of the general variable to this pointer variable and then access the contents using the pointer variable. So, this is the way it is done this is the statement or the syntax address of b1 the common variable is passed on to the pointer. So, then when we want to display the contents using the general variable we simply use the dot operator b1 dot name and b1 dot page. Now, when we want to display the contents using the pointer variable we have to use this arrow operator. So, pointer arrow name pointer arrow page. So, that is a difference in the way we access the contents of a structure using pointers. This is a simple program just to display the contents even for complex applications when we are passing pointer variables to functions also when we want to access the contents we use this arrow operator. So, the two main operators of great significance when we use structures is the dot operator and the arrow operator. The dot operator is when we want to access the contents of a structure using general volatile variables. When we want to access the contents of a structure using pointer variables we go in for arrow mark. This is not only for accessing the contents even for modifying the contents if we want to access and do something we have to use this arrow operator. And then because we are having two display statements the same data is printed for both the printf statements. So, this is how we declare pointer variables assign the address to pointer variables and display pointer variable values accessing the members of the structure.